yo what's up guys welcome to another video from manifest sound and in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys some amazing tips that can help boost your cpu performance in fl studio and without wasting much of your time let's dive right into the section all right so guys the first thing you want to do is to go to your options and then go to audio settings yeah so next up you check your audio interface and in this case i'm using the fl studio Arshio. And you can probably use anyone that best fits the audio interface you're using. We're actually using a Focusrite USB interface, but then you can select the FL Studio Asio as an option or use the Asio V or version 2. Next up, you want to make sure this multi threaded generate processing is enabled and then your resampling quality can stay at 24 point sync also yeah and then you would also want to make sure that your priority is set to highest and then you also want to make sure the save overload is enabled all right so guys the next thing you need to understand about boosting your cpu performance is to come to this file that says project and what you want to do is, is to turn it to 24 which is the lowest and what this does basically is to restrict you from being able to zoom in very clearly to the most minute part of your track but really what we want here is to like boost our cpu performance so we are willing to let's go of the zoom zooming option just to achieve a very good cpu performance all right so next up guys we're going to go to the tools menu and then select the macros option and then on getting there we need to select switch smart disable for all plugins and what this does primarily is to ensure that every plugin is turned off when they are not in use um, just to further boost your cpu performance yeah so guys next up um as we all know that unused tracks in a project can actually make a project to be more clumsy and then more uh, more heavy in the sense that you just have some plugins you are not using again so there's an option in fl studio that helps you delete things that you are probably not using in terms of samples and audio all you need to do is come to this two menu and then come to macros and then when you get to macros you select purge unused audio clips so what this does basically is to delete every samples or audio clip that you are not basically using in that project so as to make your cpu performance better yeah so in my own case i've actually done it on this project before because it was quite very heavy and my cpu was actually sweating so um you might not see the difference but when you try it on your own project you're definitely going to see the difference yeah so guys another interesting thing that you can also do to help boost your cpu performance is to close all vsd windows and you can do this basically by just pressing f12 on your keyboard and as you guys can see it basically closed every windows apart from the playlist window so as to also help boost your cpu performance all right so guys leading us to the next amazing thing that you can do to help boost your cpu performance is to consolidate some tracks probably your synth tracks or your core track that might be so heavy probably the vst plugin is very very heavy and is consuming a lot of cpu in this case we have this plugin called element stereo from waves and we're using a preset called the mellow keys and it consumes cpu a lot so what we're going to do is to preview the track and see the way it's consuming the cpu and then we're also going to consolidate it so that we can have less cpu usage all right so guys it sounds like this As you guys can see, I'm playing this sound, it basically just consumes the OCP usage. So what you want to do is to um, highlight this particular MIDI track and press Ctrl Alt C or Command Alt C on the Mac to consolidate the track. And then boom you guys can see your midi track is being consolidated to an audio track and in this case you are able to save more cpu for your project so what you want to do is to disable that particular plugin because you have consolidated what you played using that same vst so 
in this case i'm going to turn it off all right so guys the final amazing tip on how to help boost your cpu performance i'll be talking about today is using stock plugins in fl studio i know a lot of us like to use stock pad plugins to achieve what we want but we overlook the potential of stock plugins in our doors like fl studio everything and um, logic and other doors too for example when you want to eq something like probably doing a low pass filter or doing an high pass filter you can just basically select the fruity parametric eq2 just to get the job done and you can just come over to this place and select some presets like cutting the 40 hertz or the 18 hertz and boom here you go you are able to also achieve that quickly using stock plugins in fl studio all right so guys that's it for this video if you find value in this video kindly click that like button and if you are new to this channel also click that subscribe button and turn on notification to get amazing updates and content from this channel see you guys soon in the next video peace out